Hey you guys, welcome back for another day of virtual learning. Um, this week has been going really well. I know that you guys are winding down and kind of getting ready for summer. Um, but I did just want to make a quick announcement to tell you, please, please continue to watch all of the videos in the playlist. I know some of them are repeats. The reason I put repeat videos in there is because we might still be working on that specific skill or I feel like you need a little bit more practice or I'm not seeing a lot of return <laughs> like work from that specific skill. So I keep putting those in. So if you see a repeat video, that doesn't mean the playlist is over or that they're all going to be like that. I particularly put them in for a reason. I want to make sure you're watching the whole thing. I work really hard on it and I really need you to watch it. So please watch the playlist and do all the work. Um, I can just see that views a little bit this week are kind of going down. Um, and I just want to make sure that you guys are ending the year strong because after this, you know, we're going to have summer and we're going to come back. So we need to make sure that we're doing all of our work. Okay. That's the end of my little spiel. Good morning to all of you. I hope that you have had a great week. Um, thank you for joining me, um, in all the live sessions. I've really enjoyed learning about shapes with you guys. So far we've learned about the square and rectangle, the differences and similarities between those two shapes. Yesterday in our live session, we did learn about the triangle and today during our playlist, you're going to um, get a refresher about the triangle. So um, keep watching for that. Also, I'm going to add a special Thursday treat to our playlist today. I'm actually going to um, include a number jacks video about shapes. I know you guys love those and miss those from school. Um, so please continue watching for all of that. The videos I have been putting in for the animal books are repeats because you guys are getting the same information from those videos that I could give you um, if I made a new one. So those are why there's, you can skip those if you already know how to make your informational books. But I've only heard um, informational books from about four of you and I like to see like 20 um, informational books by the end of the year. Um, so please make sure that you're watching those if you need more help with that. We're still doing Junie B. Jones summarizing, lots of fun stuff coming up next week. But to get to the fun stuff, we have to do the boring stuff um, or the stuff that you think is not that fun. Okay, so thanks guys for holding on. Um, I am going to greet you guys. We're going to just quickly do the Pinky Week greeting. So good morning. I am greeting all of you. Thank you for coming back. I'm super proud of all of your hard work. All right, my three friends today, I'm going to go ahead and do our end of year greetings. My first one is Charlotte. My sweet, sweet Charlotte, I'm really going to miss you next year when you move on to first grade, but you know what? You came in and you already could have gone to first grade. You're so bright. You work so hard, and I'm so proud of all the work that you've done in kindergarten. You're such a good listener. You're such a good friend, and you're always working hard. Even when you're chatting, you're working hard. So you literally are constantly working, and I'm so proud of that. And when we've been away from school in this time, I know it's been hard to keep working, but you have never missed an assignment, and I'm so proud of all of that. So I will miss you next year, but you're going to do great and you're with your next teacher. Um, Aaron, you're next. Um, I just love having you in my class. You always make me laugh. You <laughs> give me some comic relief on the hard days. You're funny and silly and crazy, and you always just like make everyone in our, our class laugh, so our class would not be the same without you, Aaron. Um, we really love having you in our class. Um, you always want to improve. I mean, over the time that you've been at home, you've been working so much on your writing. It has improved like this much crazy amount. I'm so proud. And your handwriting, you always work so hard. So thank you for doing that. And the last thing that I love about you is that you always volunteer and get excited about your job. Working um, in class and volunteering and doing things that help me make you so happy and you just are such a server and it makes me so proud of you so i will miss you so much next year my next friend for today is luca luca of course i love having you you're my sweet 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 hugger sweet cuddler you're such a good helper you always want to help me pass out papers or anything like that you're a great athlete you know i love to watch you and time you on the playground when you're running um, and you always try really hard with all your assignments even when it's tricky you will never stop and you will always persevere, which means that you work really hard until it's all done. So thank you for working so hard this year. I will miss you, but I know that you're going to do great with your next teacher. On Monday, I will greet our next three friends. I hope you guys are enjoying these end of year greetings. Um, 
let's for now go ahead and move on to Tally's calendar, all that. We're going to zip through it today, and then we're going to read the next chapter in our chapter book. See you soon.